as traps are prohibited by the uniform plumbing code due to its design that allows water to siphon out of the trap, removing the water seal that prevents sewer gases from escaping inside of the house. Inhaling sewer gases can be harmful to your health and can even be explosive. You can find S-traps at plumbing fixtures that are not vented, especially in older houses or properties in rural areas, where common sense of building requirements was disregarded due to lack of regulations from municipalities. Home improvement stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, the others, I believe, they continue selling it. In my case, I was flipping the property and it was a requirement from home inspector representing a buyer to replace all S-traps and P-traps. It's almost guaranteed that you don't have stack vent by your plumbing fixture location otherwise you would have P-trap there. Typically, it's built inside the walls and extended to the outdoors through the roof. It's considered as traditional and superior venting system, but you're gonna need to replumb entire line with cutting walls and roof in order for you to run P-trap with vent stack. As an alternative, you can go easier way with installation of air admittance valve, also known as Tudor vent or mini vent. However, you might check with your local codes whether it's permitted in your municipality, as stack vent is often required by code. Air admittance valve allows air to enter plumbing system to balance pressure when it develops due to flow of the water or gravity and prevent siphonage of water from the trap, which is blocking sewer gases from escaping. It's one-way valve, so after job on equalizing pressure is done, the vent terminal is getting closed, so sewer gases are not getting into the house. For this little project you're gonna need P-trap kit, one and a half inch PVC pipe, in my case you might need two inches, PVC cutter or multi-purpose saw, PVC primer and cement, and air admittance valve. In the description I have links to all of these items. Put the bucket underneath the lines, you're gonna have some water dripping, protect your vanity, especially considering how those are cheaply made nowadays. You need to disassemble all piping of S-trap. In my case, I had rubber coupling from 1.5 inch to 2 inches pipe that I'm removing as well. <laughs> Remember, the line is vertical, so if you have similar case, be careful not to drop smaller size pipe inside of wider one, because you might not be able to reach and pull it easy how I did. Man, that's a long ass pipe. You connect your pit trap from kit first. Make sure you put rubber washer proper way, with wider part at coupling nut and narrow part towards the pipe. S-trap is not allowing too much room to play with reconstructing it, because of the design. It's pretty much two vertical plumbing lines with S-curve. Not just our pipe with air admittance valve if we run it vertical from existing 2-inch crawl space drain line would hit the under bottom sink lines, but also it's not allowing to have required length of trap arm or another name waste arm extension. It should be at least two times of the diameter of the pipe in P-trap. So in my case, my P-trap lines are one and a half inch, so my straight run should be two times of one and a half inch, which is at least three inches. So the plan is to play with angles and turn P-trap curved pipe opposite way from existing vertical drain line. And that one will extend slightly to the side using 45 degrees couplings. For the existing pipe, you can have two ways either the same boot that goes on the top or you can have this combination that's the coupling and uh, with bushing reducer from two and a half inches to one and a half inch air admittance valve came with connector to two inches pipe so you build depending on the size of your pipes i had to get connector reducer with threads to one and a half inch for demonstration purposes and also for reassurance of myself i'm cutting all pvc and building lines to check how it's gonna look like with all the adjustments and angles i plan to have i don't have any problems with this rubber boot so i'm just gonna use the same one you need PVC cutter tool or you can use multi-purpose saw. Account for fitting depth while doing cuts. Measure twice, cut once. You can always remove more length, but you cannot add it back. As much as you are tight with how you can maneuver with piping, remember, your air admittance valve should be installed as high as possible, preferably even above the level of sink drain to prevent overflowing back up, but definitely at least 4 inches above the waist arm of P-trap. Our construction. Now is the time to get all this stuff out. If 
you go in for this work as do-it-yourself project, I bet you know that you need to seal and glue all PVC fittings and pipes, one layer of primer and one layer of cement right after. I'm connecting everything except T-part with upward pipe and air admittance valve that go in to get glued last. There is two parts in assembly that allow you to play with, slightly adjusting in the case if you need extra inches, P-trap nut and rubber coupling in my case, but make sure you don't mess up any important slopes in your structure if you go for adjusting those. Secure the rubber coupling. Here is the look of final assembly. Toothbrush. And here is one more I built in the bathroom. Also had to play with some turns and angles. 